In this video, I'm just going to do a brief introduction to summation notation. We'll go through what all the symbols mean, and then we'll work out uh, one pretty simple example of how you would apply this. Alright, so your summation uh, notation, generally something that looks along this lines. Alright, this symbol right here is your summation sign. Alright, your 1 here, or whatever number it happens to be, up to the number that would be on top, those are your lower and upper limits of your summation. So on this generically written here, my summation would start at 1 and go to n, so whatever number was there, if it was 5, my summation would run from 1 to 5, alright, or it could run from 6 to 20, alright, this does not have to be a 1, it can be any number that we want, alright, whatever appears right here is your typical element that tells you what's going to be summed over and over and over, and then I generally is what they use as their index of summation, so I is generally the number that varies and changes through that summation. Okay, so for example, if you just wanted to do a really straightforward summation, this would be one, a very early thing in an introduction to this. Alright, let's say that I'm running I from 2 to 5. Alright, so it's going to start at 2. I is going to start at 2 and then go to 3 and then 4 and then 5. Alright, this is my element. Alright, and in here I've got the variable I, so that's the part that's going to change. Alright, I squared minus 3. The squared and the minus 3 part is going to remain the same every time. Okay, so this summation would be equal to, I'm going to start with putting I in as a 2. So 2 squared minus 3. Alright, and it's a summation, so that plus, then when i goes up to 3, I would have 3 squared minus 3. And then when i goes up to 4, I would have 4 squared minus 3. And then when i goes up to 5, I would have a 5 squared minus 3. Alright, so there's my summation, and it's all expanded out. Alright, so then to calculate the summation, then you just actually do the arithmetic here. So 4 minus 3 is going to give me a 1. 3 squared is 9 minus 3 is going to give me a 6. 4 squared is 16 minus 3 is going to give me a 13. 5 squared, 25 minus 3 is going to give me a 22. And when I sum all that up, then I'm going to get a 42. All right, so just a really nice brief introduction into what this notation looks like and how you would implement it on a pretty simple um, summation. So definitely thanks for watching. Um, and then keep your eyes out for more videos that go into more detail on this type of topic. Definitely thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.